Oh, thank you, everybody. Good evening and welcome to Wednesday Night on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? An unprecedented third night with our U.S. Olympians. Competition's been fierce, as you can imagine. Not surprisingly, they're excelling at the game as well. Dara Torres won the last Fastest Finger question last night. Anna's back with us, of course, tonight. Nice <laughs> to see you again, Ms. Torres. Great to be back. Tell us about the Olympic Games now. Which, which were the ones you went to do? I went to 84, 84, back in L.A., 88 in Seoul, Korea, 92 in Barcelona, and 2,000 games in Sydney. So was it tough getting back in shape for the last one? You know, it wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I stayed in pretty good shape the seven years I was off, running, spinning, doing Taibo, and uh, lifting weights a little bit. And so when I got back into it, uh, it, it was a little hard swimming-wise, but, but it wasn't as tough as I thought it was going to be. Your companion uh, for our show is uh, Kevin Richards. Hi, Kevin. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? All right, Adara, you've won $200, 13 questions away from winning $1 million. Once you reach the $1,000 or the $32,000 level, guaranteed to leave you with at least that much money. All of your lifelines are left 50-50. Ask the audience if you can phone a friend. Dara, all set? I'm ready. Aud audience, are you ready? Sure, we're all ready. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire right now. Dara is up to $300. On what classic toy can you twist knobs to create lines and drawings? Would it be a slinky, operation, etch-a-sketch, tickle me Elmo? Well, I have 13 nieces and nephews, so I'm pretty sure it's the etch-a-sketch. Sure, etch-a-sketch. We all remember that one. Darren, going for 500. In which of the following places would you most likely find a duty-free shop? Would it be at an airport, racetrack, library, museum? A airport. That's where you find the duty free shop, right? Right at the airport. She's going for $1,000. In the 1982 movie E.T., The Extraterrestrial, Elliot and E.T. ride by the moon on what? Propeller plane, bicycle, magic carpet, skateboard. This is one of my favorite movies growing up, so I have to say it's B bicycle. And what a great scene it was, too. They're on the bicycle. up to $2,000. The black areas on a standard soccer ball are shaped like what geometric figure? <laughs> Triangle, circle, square, pentagon. <laughs> My girl's back there. Why does she keep looking up there? <laughs> I'll say D, pentagon. And make that your? Final answer. And you're right, a pentagon. $4,000. In the 2000 Olympic 100 meter race, last place swimmer Eric the Eel represented what country? Cape Verde, Burundi, Equatorial Guiana, Benin. Um, C, Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guiana? Guiana, sorry. Final answer? Final answer. Eric the Eel came out of Equatorial Vienna. <laughs> Eric, Eric only learned to swim in January of the year 2000. He got a standing ovation also. Yes. Mm -hmm. $8,000. Getting up there. What artist was the lead singer of the pop group Wham! in the 1980s? George Michael, Jordan Knight, Boy George, Ricky Martin. My brother Rick always used to listen to this group. Uh, <laughs> I'll say A, George Michael. George Michael, wham. Final answer. Final answer. George Michael right for $8,000. Dara Torres going for $16,000 right now. Which 2000 movie adapted from a best-selling book tells the story of a shipwreck in the North Atlantic? Endurance, The Perfect Storm, Gone Fishing, the ice storm. I'll say B, the perfect storm. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, it was perfect storm. And that story is so well. <laughs> She's up to $32,000. Jordan almonds are almonds that have what kind of coating? Salt, coconut, cumin, 
Candy. <laughs> um, I'll say D, Candy. Final answer? Final answer. Yes, Candy, $32,000. Now, how many gold uh, did you win this year? Uh, two golds and three bronze. Two gold and three bronze, and mm -hmm. all during your Olympic career, how many? Four golds, one silver, and four bronze. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that absolutely sensational? Incidentally, what charity are we playing for? United Cerebral Palsy. Any reason why? Yeah, a friend of mine's sister uh, passed away from that. Um, she got a head, tra head trauma mm -hmm. and passed, got cerebral palsy and passed away from mm -hmm. it. So. Mm -hmm. so an honor of her. Mm -hmm. Good. What are you going to do with your life? Um, I understand that you're interested in maybe sports broadcasting. Sports broadcasting. Uh, you know, I'd like to be sitting across from you and co-host uh, your show. Oh, really? Yeah. You got a lovely smile. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> do you have any input on it? <laughs> no. Uh, I was saying. I could, but I, uh, I, but I could. Okay. I'm gonna give you some of my share here. <laughs> yeah, I could very easily. Come to think of it. <laughs> Your share is doing quite well. You won 32000 You're five away from the million. And you've got all your lifelines. So let's get back to it. Let's play. <laughs> Dara's going for $64,000. What kind of animal is a canoe? A deer? Sheep? Antelope? Goat? Oh, jeez. <laughs> A new. I think I'll pull the audience. Why don't we do that? Audience, we need a little help here for Dara. If you're ready, on your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Fifty-seven percent think it's an antelope. Twenty-seven came in second. Twenty-seven percent for a goat. I'll I'll go with the audience. C, antelope. Antelope, final answer. Final answer. Antelope, the right answer for 64 <laughs> Still two lifelines and going for $125,000. Peach Melba was named by a chef in honor of Australian Nellie Melba, who was a what? Opera singer, vaudeville comedian, poet, Ballet dancer. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Still can phone somebody. Or we can narrow it by two. I, I think I'll phone a friend. Got anybody in mind? Uh, John Maxick. What does John do? He's, uh, he's the headmaster at a school in Sun Valley, the community school. All right, fine. Let's see if John can help us out. at and t We need him. Hello, John. Yes. Regis Philbert calling from a wants to be a millionaire. Hi. How you doing out there? I'm doing fine. Good. Everything okay in the school? Everything's fine, thanks. Terrific. Terrific. Well, we're here with Dara. Hung up on a question. Needs your help. Okay. Dara, all yours. Okay. Ready, John? I'm ready. Okay. Peach Melba was named by a chef in honor of Australian Nellie Melba, who was a what? A, opera singer, B, vaudeville comedian, C, poet, D, ballet dancer. Um, Come on, I'd be, I, you know, I'd only be guessing, Dara. All right, well, go. I only have 10 seconds. <laughs> okay, I, you know, if you want to take a chance. Okay, five seconds, tell me. <laughs> All right, I'd say opera singer. Okay, thank you. Yes. Hmm, <laughs> Peach Melba. Peach well, he Melba. did finally get it out, opera singer. Yeah. You know, uh, we could narrow it down by two and see if that holds up. But every time that happens, it always ends up being the <laughs> All right, well, let's just narrow it down. Do you want to? 50, yes. All right, fine. Why don't we narrow that down, computer? <laughs> Still there. Um, Vaudeville or opera? What do you think, Peach Melba? I'll say a opera singer. In honor of John. In honor of John. <laughs> if you lose here, you'll lose thirty-two thousand. I'm on a plane to Sun Valley to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Yes. Yes. Opera singer. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars.
free away from the million, but all the lifelines are I know, gone. These are always so hard. <laughs> and here it comes for two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Which two countries does the peace bridge link? <laughs> Mexico and the United States. U.S. and Canada. U.S. and Russia. Israel and Egypt. But two hundred and fifty thousand, if you get it. Did you ever hear of the peace bridge between Mexico and the United States? No. U.S. and Canada? No. <laughs> U.S. and Russia? No. How about Israel and Egypt? Well, that would be my guess, but, uh, D, but, uh, I don't think I want to risk it. Um, God, I'm, like, sweating. I didn't even sweat like this before I swam. Uh, <laughs> you got a great smile. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Pleasure looking at you. <laughs> But can you imagine looking at me every day on your show? <laughs> every time you try to say something nice. <laughs> we have a nice smile also. Thank you. <laughs> um, I'm going to stay and not... Take a walk on Take a walk. Happy. All right, let's... You know what the answer was? The answer is U.S. and Canada. 125000 Thank you very Great much. Great to have you on the Thank show. You. Good luck. I'm impressed with the job our U.S. Olympians are doing. And I can't wait to see what happens with our final four. And they are Stacy Dragila, pole pole. Gary Hall Jr., swimming. Maurice Green, track and field. And Lisa Leslie, basketball. Okay, welcome back, everybody, and uh, good luck to all of you now, and thanks for your patience. Here we go. Here's tonight's first fastest finger question. Put these songs in the order of the body part suggested in their title, starting at the head. Hip to be square, hot legs, heart of glass, head games. All right, time's up, Maurice. We can't wait any longer. <laughs> Let's see that answer in the correct order, OK? Starting at the head. Head games, of course. Then the heart, heart of blood. Hip to be square. Finally, hot legs. Who got it at the fastest time? The winner, Gary Hall. Hey, Gary, congratulations. We'll be right back with Gary Hall in a moment. <laughs> Gary Hall, Jr., Phoenix, Arizona. How many medals did you win, all told? Four in this past Olympics and four in 96. Good for you. Now you're 26 years old, huh? Yeah, just turned. Good for you. And also your, uh, your fiancé is in the audience here. She's yes. She's here tonight, yes. Elizabeth Peterson, nice to see you, Elizabeth. Nice to be Pretty. here. Thank yeah. you. Owns her own gallery. She does. Yeah, yes. you're doing good, Gary. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, you're playing for the International uh, Diabetic Athletes Association. That's right. Uh, you yourself suffer from that disease, Yeah, right? I was diagnosed in March of 99, and uh, I treat it daily and uh, have been able to accomplish even more than I had accomplished before uh, living with this disease. Did that come as a shock to you? To, to... Yeah, it did. You know, I was under the misconception that it was a disease that only happened to people who had neglected their health, and mm -hmm. I, you know, paid very close attention sure. to my health and ate right and uh, exercised daily. So it was a shock, yeah. Here you are, a tip-top condition, and it hit you. Yeah. So now you must live with that the rest of your life, but just keep it under control by treating it. Until there's a cure, and I feel that there's one around the corner. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. All right, good enough. You know the rules. You know about the lifelines, Gary. 50-50. Ask the audience and phone a friend. So let's do it. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire with Gary Hall. $100. Telephone callers to a busy company are often put on what? Ice, hold, tap, a desert island. I'm going to say... B, hold. Yes, they're put on hold. They don't like it, but they're put on hold. $200. In freestyle wrestling, the main objective of the match is to do what to your opponent? Pin, taunt, slap, hug. Well, I imagine that there's a lot of all that going on, but I would say that the that it's A, pin. Got it right for $200.
Roland likes to hug him a little bit and then pin him to the floor. Show him some love. <laughs> Thanks for hanging around, Roland. You're a good sport. And incidentally, Julie Foudy's up there, too, from the soccer team. So we're going for $300 right now, Gary. Check it out. If a person finds information that he has been searching for, it is said he has hit what? A fly ball, pay dirt, dead wood, a lifeline. B, pay dirt. Got it for $300. $500. Which of the following fruits does not contain a pit? A plum, apricot, cherry, pear. D, pear. No pit in a pear, you're right. He's going for $1,000. Which of the following would a carnivore most likely eat? Tofu, mushroom, steak, corn. Being a carnivore, I would say C, steak. And you're right for $1,000. A carnivore eats meat. <laughs> Gary Hall Jr. going for $2,000. Here it is. When you sneeze, which of the following automatically happens? Your eyes close, your ears ring, your toes wiggle, your knees bend. Automatically. A, your eyes close. Final? Yes. They close, you're right. <laughs> Reflex action, $4,000. In July 2000, what U.S. distance runner became the first legally blind athlete to make a U.S. Olympic team? Regina Jacobs, Marla Runyon, Shane Culpepper. Susie Favor Hamilton. <coughs> um, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna guess B. Marla Runyon. Marla Runyon, first legally blind athlete. Final answer. Final. Got it for four thousand dollars. Going for $8,000 right now. In England, what is the common word for an elevator? Is it a nappy, Q, lorry, lift? D, lift. Final? Yes. They called it a lift, $8,000. We keep going, he's up to 16,000. What actor plays the president of the United States in the TV series, The West Wing? Ryan O'Neill, Robert Duvall, Martin Sheen, Barry Bostwick. Yeah. I didn't know this one. Uh, it's C. Martin Sheen. I Final? That show. Yes. You're right. $16,000. Okay, all of your lifelines. You're going for 32000 right now. The rock band R.E.M. formed in the 1980s in which of these college towns? Was it Athens, Georgia, Austin, Texas, Ann Arbor, Michigan, Charlottesville, Virginia? A, Athens, Georgia. Final answer. Yes. That's where they started, Athens, Georgia. Absolutely right. Great Olympic swimmers playing for the International Diabetic Athletes Association. Now, let's get back to you and Elizabeth. How long have you been engaged? We've been engaged uh, for a little over a year. Over one year? Yeah. Is there any date in sight? Um, sometime, we've been saying after the Olympics for so long that uh, it'll probably be within this next year. <laughs> in the next year? How do you feel about that, Elizabeth? Well, every time I bring it up, he develops a nervous twitch. So oh. <laughs> One of those guys yeah. with the twitch, yeah. All right, Garrett, five away from a million. Come on, let's win a million, all right? Let's play. Here we go. $64,000 right now. The outer layer of the Statue of Liberty is covered in what metal? Titanium, steel, copper, brass. 
Uh, this is an easy one that I should know, but I don't. So I'm going to take an audience poll. OK, audience, we need your help. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, please vote now. Well, there you go, 83%. Call it copper. Got to go with the crowd. Say C, copper. Final? Yes. Yes, it's copper. <laughs> Audience has been a terrific all through this Olympic competition. 164000 Take a look at it now for $125,000, Gary. Hey, what painter's later work is known for black grid-like lines forming spaces often filled with primary colors. Don't look at any gallery owner in the audience, please. <laughs> Gustave Klimt. Piet Mondrian. Amadeo Modigliani. Jackson Pollock. B, Mondrian. Said with authority and confidence. Final. Yes, sir, $125,000. $250,000, still two lifelines. Here it is. What does the word Esperanto mean in Esperanto? <laughs> Family of nations, healthy spirit, peace through words, one who hopes. I have no idea, so I'm gonna go uh, with the phone call. Okay, who do you wanna call? John Mernick. Good enough. We'll get John on the line, see if he can pull us through this. Hello? Hello, John. Yes. Regis Philbin here from Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hello, Mr. Philbin. How you doing? Not too bad. How are you? I'm here with that noted uh, art lover and swimmer, Gary Hall, Jr. <laughs> He's already won 125000 going for a quarter million. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So you're the guy. Oh, dear. <laughs> Okay. Gonna ask you the question, give you the four possible answers. One of them is the right answer. Gary, go ahead. 30 seconds. Okay. What does the word Esperanto mean in Esperanto? A, family of nations. B, healthy spirit. C, peace through words. D, one who hopes. Oh, dear. Esperanto. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you. All right. That is one that I do not know. Okay. All right, uh, I appreciate it. Sure thing. Well, doesn't help much. Yeah. I'm going to try the 50-50. Uh, Let's see what that brings. Computer, take away two of those wrong answers, please. Healthy spirit, one who hopes. If you miss, you lose 93000 Yeah, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take the money and walk. Want to walk with 125000 yeah, yeah. The correct answer is one who hopes. Gary, thank you very much. Off to good to buddy. Best to you. Fabulous. Gary going to share his 125000 with the International Diabetic Athletes Association. Good for him. And if you want information, incidentally, regarding any of our athletes' charities, go to abc.com and they'll tell you all about them. I think this is going to be our last fastest finger question, gang. You all ready, Stacy? I'm ready. Yeah? I've been Maurice, ready. Maurice, you still awake? Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Lisa, come on now for the, for the L.A. Sparks, okay? Okay. Ready? Here it is. Fastest finger question. Were these cities in order according to their distance from Chicago, starting with the closest? San Francisco, Melbourne, Washington, D.C., Moscow. Oh boy, last one. Time's up. Let's see the answer in the correct order. Starting with the closest, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, Moscow. Then Melbourne, who got it in the fastest time?
Fastest man finally got in here. Good for you, Maurice. Yeah, nice. it took me a while. How do you feel? <laughs> I'm nervous right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, after all the competition you've been through, you're nervous now. Well, it's great to have you here. And incidentally, this may well be our, our very last round, but I do want to thank these two young ladies who have given their all here today. Huh? Lisa, Leslie, Stacey, and Krakella. Thank you very much. And I want uh, them and uh, you to know that uh, $16,000, that's our minimum pay here, will go to you and your charity. Thank you very much. Well, you know, Maurice's uh, best time in the 100-meter run is 9.79 Nine. seconds. Yes. Uh, but you beat that tonight. You got in here 9.52 to get <laughs> And that's your manager behind you there, Emmanuel uh, Hudson. Nice to see you, Emmanuel. Thank you very much. Got a good man here. So tell me about yourself. What, what charity are we playing for, first of all? For the United Negro College Fund. Yeah, that's the old Lou Rawls uh, Fund, right? Nice, yes. a nice uh, organization. Uh, when did you decide you were going to be the fastest man on the planet, Maurice? <laughs> well, I was probably saying it when I first started running track and field. I started competing at eight years old. At eight years of age, huh? Yeah. Good for you. All right, Maurice, let's see what you could do here, huh? You know about the rules, you know about your lifeline, so let's play. Who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> Maurice, it would be nice to go out with a million dollar winner. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Million it'll dollar be very winner, nice. Maurice. In here, think about <laughs> it. Here we go for $100. According to the common phrase, if someone is quick witted, he is sharp as a what? Pine cone? Tack? Beef jerky, haddock. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice, don't be nervous. Let's let's oh, talk about it. Okay. Pine cone is a pine he, cone he, sharp? No, he, he, no, no. He, B. Yeah, you got it, Maurice. Come on, what's the problem? The I know, I know, out. I know, Maurice. Don't think of anything but this question for two hundred dollars. Which of these is a word for someone who travels widely? Long jumper, globe trotter, couch potato, wheel watcher. <laughs> um, I would have to say B. <laughs> yes, of course, globe trotter, the right answer. <laughs> Maurice Green up for three hundred dollars right now. Devil's food cake is what flavor, Maurice? Vanilla. Lemon, chocolate, <laughs> demonic. <laughs> C. Yes, chocolate. You got it for three hundred dollars. Here it comes for five hundred dollars. In the United States, Labor Day traditionally falls on the first Monday of what month? August, June, May, September. <laughs> D. <laughs> <laughs> September. Uh, yeah, final answer, Maurice? Yes. Yeah, right. of course, September. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maurice having a nervous breakdown before our eyes. $1,000, Maurice. What is the name of the two grooves that run alongside a bowling lane? Bunkers, margins, gutters, divides. I'm going to say C. Yes, it's a gutter ball. Throw it in the gutter. It's funny, in the chair, you know, you sitting there, you know everything, right? Yeah, I think this should be in the Olympics. <laughs> as nervous as you get. <laughs> Ten away from a million, going for two thousand dollars. Here it comes, Maurice. Which of the following parts of the human anatomy? provides the body with the sense of balance. The inner ear, nose, thyroid, diaphragm. <coughs> sense of balance. <coughs> huh. <coughs> Little coughing fit in the audience here. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go with A. A, the inner ear, final answer? Yeah. He called it the inner ear. Maurice up to $4,000. According to a popular advertising slogan, you're in good hands with what insurance company? 
MetLife, Allstate, Liberty Mutual, State Farm. You're in good hands with... Allstate. Final? <laughs> I have to stop shaking. <laughs> Yes, that's my final. Yes, you're right. He's in your head. <laughs> Maurice is giving me the heebie-jeebies here. <laughs> eight away from a million, Maurice. Here it comes for 8,000. In the U.S., which of these sports is played almost exclusively by women? Basketball, water polo, field hockey, soccer. Um, I'm going to have to go to the seat. Field, field hockey. Field hockey? Yes. Final? Yes, that's my final. Yes, Maurice. Field hockey. <laughs> he still has all his lifelines. He's seven away from a million. 16,000. On the 1990s Mad About You TV series, what is the name of the Buckman's dog? Nat, Murray, Jamie, Mabel. B. Murray. B. Murray, the dog. Final. Yes, that's my final. That's what they call that dog. How do you feel right now? You're about the most nervous contestant we've ever had, Maurice. <laughs> but that, but you, you get nervous before a big race, too, don't you? Not this nervous. Not this nervous. <laughs> well, all right, Maurice. Uh, ready to go back to it now? Let me pray for a second. All right. <laughs> Take your time. You say your prayers. I'll tell everybody what's going on. He's got his three lifelines. He's won 16,000. He's going for 32,000. He's six away from a million. He's ready. Let's play. $32,000. Besides Sydney, what is the only other city in the Southern Hemisphere to host the Olympic Games? Melbourne, Jakarta, Buenos Aires, Johannesburg. A, Melbourne. A? No. Yes. Final answer? Yes. This is quick, Maurice. This is right, Melbourne. Forget you still have your three lifelines, Maurice. Uh, Going yeah, to 64,000. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. What 1995 movie is based on a memoir by Sister Helen Prejean? The Sweet Hereafter, The Apostle, The Piano, Dead Man Walking. Oh. <clears throat> uh. I'm gonna have to use a lifeline. I'm gonna ask the audience. Why don't, why don't we ask the audience? All right, audience, Maurice needs your help. On your keypads, using A, B, C, or D, vote now. What do you think now, Maurice? D. Look, look. <laughs> final answer? Yes, that's my final answer. Yeah, they got it right. Two lifelines left, $125,000. Which of these historic routes was primarily used for cattle drives? Appalachian Trail, Freedom Trail, Chisholm Trail, Oregon Trail. Cattle drives. I think I know, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna use my lifeline. And I'm gonna use the 50-50. Good idea. Computer, take away two of those wrong answers, please. Chisholm and Oregon. Um, I believe it's the Oregon Trail. If you miss, you'll lose 32,000. If you get it, you're up to 125,000. And you still can call somebody if you want to back up that guess or that statement. I'm going to use my lifeline and call some. Sure, why not? Who, who do you want to call, Maurice? 
Uh, I'm gonna call my father. Gonna call your father? What's yeah. his name? Ernest. Ernest. Okay, we need Ernest on the line, AT&T. Gotta get this one right. Hello? Hello, Ernest. Yeah. Regis Philbin calling from who wants to be a millionaire. Well, yes. Uh -huh. Fine. Fine. How are you doing? Very good. Where are you right now? I'm uh, here in Kansas City. Kansas City. All right, fine. We got Maurice right here in our studio. That's <laughs> all right. And he's won $64,000. 64,000? And he's going for 125,000. Oh, wow. He's holding up like a real trooper. <laughs> he's a little nervous, but he's doing just fine. Okay. But he's got a question here with two possible answers, okay? All right. So uh, he's going to read it to you, and uh, good luck to you, Ernest. Okay. Okay, Maurice, all yours. Go ahead. Danny. Yeah. Which of these historic routes was primarily used for the for cattle drive? The Chisholm Trail or Oregon Trail? The... Which of the routes were used for cattle drive? Yeah. Chisholm Trail or Oregon Trail? Yeah. Um, oh, wow. Both of them had... Come on, we got seven seconds. Huh? Um, Chisholm Trail. All right. All right, Ernest, thank you. He said Chisholm. I'm gonna go with my father. See? Father knows best. <laughs> what hope. do you think? <laughs> I hope so. Final answer, Maurice. Yes, that's my final answer. Yes, for a hundred and twenty-five. Okay, Maurice, three away from the million, but all the lifelines are gone now, but... Don't put no pressure. <laughs> nice to hear... <laughs> nice to hear from your father. $250,000 we're talking about here, and here it is. The hyoid bone, located in the throat, is the only bone in the human body with what characteristic? Reddish color, connects to no others, cannot be broken, completely solid. When is the last time you thought about your high old boy? Um, I, I believe, I, I remember hearing something about it. Now, Maurice, Before. Let, let, let me explain. <laughs> you could lose 93,000 if you yeah. get it wrong. You could win a quarter million if you get it right. Or you could walk away with 125,000. But if you think you know it, in your throat. I'm going to walk away. <laughs> I tell you what, he's going to walk B. away. But let, let, let me B. take a guess. I think it's you B. You think it's B? My God, he was right. Oh, <laughs> uh, look, Maurice, $125,000 for you and the United Negro College Fund. Oh, what a heartbreak. <laughs> well, that was exciting. It was great, Maurice. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. You, you were just terrific. And incidentally, we'd like to thank all of our U.S. Olympians who have joined us this week. They prove it to us that not only are they world-class athletes, they are world-class people. We'll see you tomorrow night at 9, 8 Central. From all of us in New York, everybody, good night. <laughs>